Good evening, my Fire Force. It is I, Firefy, here to show you Inscription. Don't worry, guys. I know what you're thinking. We're Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper will be still will still be ma being made. Don't worry. I just really want to show you this game because, hot damn, I've been obsessing with it for the past several months. <laughs> Anyway, let's start this off strong. Play. Daniel Mullen's games. That that bastard makes good games. You should you, you should make sure to <laughs> check out Daniel okay. Mullen's games. Time to figure out what's on this thing. Hi. Hello, man. Okay, here we go. Inscription! Now, as you see, this is busted. <laughs> well, that's quite unfortunate, isn't it? Oh well, guess we have to pick continue. Nice eyes, dude. Nice eyes. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Alrighty. Up it. Now play your stoat. Stoats cost one blood. Sacrifices must be made. An honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn. And commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power. One. Stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your wolf your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat, and my voice actor can't figure out what the fuck she's talking about. That means your stoat's health is too less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. How reckless of you. Well, I can't play anything. Because you are learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creatures from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. You dealt one damage, so I put one weight on the scale. Pass. You're about to get fucked up, my guy. Demands two sacrifices. Bye bye. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. I sure hope not, but don't make them too hard for me, okay, man? Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two 
denizens of the forest approached you tentatively. The caustic adder, damage from its poison bite, is always lethal. The undying cat, sacrificing the poor beast, does not kill it. Only one may grace your paltry deck. I'll take the adder. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Thanks, man. And have a second. Hey, what's weirder than one squirrel in a bottle? Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Great. Three is as much as you can carry. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You didn't sacrifice me? How kind. Maybe you'll help me? Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Here we go. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Not to worry, I have a po I have poison. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! My bat flew right over your stoat. Activated my trap card. A serpent perhaps more deadly than man. Expensive, if feeble, flying creature. Eh, I'll take the wolf cup. I like wolf cup. You stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. All right, bye, wolf cup. <laughs> you looked upon your menagerie and selected a healthy host. What an honor. A ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. Well, I don't know who I feel worse for. Behold my totem. It 
inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. So you have flying wolves. That's lovely. He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. I think he heard you, man. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Well, that's lovely. Uh... Back on the board. Indeed. My totem has granted my coyote the power of flight. my guy. You're three damage away from winning. Yes, I am. Now I'm four damage away from winning. Eh. Baba boy. survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. The proud wolf, a vicious contender. The monstrous grizzly, its form speaks enough of its eff eff efficacy. Ugh, my voice actor cannot speak. The reviled skunk, its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. I'll take the bear. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation. They huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come, warm one of your creatures by the fire. One said, Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You noticed one of the survivors wiping truth from their mouth. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, indeed, my friend. Hmm, indeed. You know what, let's make this grizzly even more powerful. The fire warmed the poor grizzly, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached toward it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the grizzly away from the fire and left. Well, if I ever play it, that's... That's at least a... That's five damage in one. If I can ever play it. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Sorry, man, but you're gonna have to be sacrificed. Eh, let's do it. Ugh, that. A well earned point of damage. I didn't think you would really do it. I'm sorry, dude, but I need the one extra damage. Yes, well, seriously. Well, that's quite rude. Well, you bitch. Bears. You've lost. 
lost. Well, how am I supposed to beat eight fucking bears? Especially with my current deck. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up! Get up from the table! Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. I'll play with your shit. Extinguish your candle. Ha! Damn it. Ooh! Does it fit? Well, I'll take the ring. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Uh, we were here, it looks like. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. I'll take the porcupine. It's, a f it's another low-cost card that I don't have to worry about. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. Yeah, hey, don't worry, you're not going, stoot. I'm sending this wolf. The health of the wolf was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, you withdrew.
this hound has got to go. Opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. Ura Yuli, this level of brutish strength needs no explanation. The strange larva, a largely unimpressive specimen. Poor abandoned child. It does not die when sacrificed. But do you have the heart to try? I'll take the ooh, I'll take the Ooyaruli. Maybe if I get a flying card, I can create the infamous flying Ooyaruli. With sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears, you carry it onwards. Cool. rank smell of rot and mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. You must make a different kind of choice now. Choose not a specific beast. But decide the cost that you wish to pay. A random card with a cost of three. What were you expecting? Its bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. If you deem it necessary, you may cut up one of my cards with these. Choose one. Go. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. A powerful item. Turn this, and I'll skip my next turn. Feeling overburdened enough for the full three items, you carried on.
Five damage win. You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me, parents? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt, free a charge. See the quality. Y you leave her now already. Please, consider me parents. How about no? Th thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the traitor further down the path would reward you for them. Ah, that's the traitor. Uh, I should have bought more. Hmm, perhaps. Nope. Oh well. The warm light of the campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire. Enhance its power, said one. <laughs> <laughs> the oof are you, Lee. The survivors were right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's power. Spotting a few of the survivors truly, you made a hasty retreat with your Ura Yuli. Lucky draw. Here's what I can offer. 
I can trade you any of these. Take your time. I'll take the grizzly. These pets are most excellent. My thanks. I have a lot of bears. I have a scary amount of bears. battles are high stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame you will either overcome them or die. Fear not. I will let you keep the smoke. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled the hook from a pile of rotting meat and rose to his feet. I am the angler, Goldfish. Wait, I, I should build up my hand for phase two. Which fish? Hard Uh, sure, take that. Stay 
flying fish. fish. Take fish. Go fish. I need my Uyaruli. I can't run out of cards if I run out of cards. Bottle of Squirrel. Dude, can you put your clear eye in? Because you're kind of red. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Take strange larva, I guess. You consider one of the anglers catches as a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind bellowed, unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snow failed to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. Uh, hi, Lewis.
Yeah, screw it. Blech. So this is how you get your teeth, eh? Oh. Well, that was a waste. How disappointing. Oh, there's the traitor. I've the most exquisite pelts. Don't mind me, red eyes. I'm just uh Look, I haven't slept well, alright. The first and free. Take that. You'll need more teeth for that one. Fine then, I'll take this and this. Much appreciated. Cool, man. Cool. Hourglass. God damn it, Lewis. That's supremely unfortunate. Alas, it is time for you to perish. The freaky. Resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes, for any reason. Uh, sorry, Stone. You will not lose. 
use this bone until it is spent or the battle ends. Ah, sorry, mate. I tried keeping you alive, all right? I do believe this episode has gone on long enough. So, this part will end here. But, I'm I'll be recording the next part as I put <laughs> as the other one, as this one is rendering. So don't worry, you'll be seeing part two soon enough. Uh, check that out. Uh, see you guys uh, later.